good morning guys it is 20 past six um one of my clients is on peak week so i was up at 5 a.m to look at her and tell her her food um for the day um so i decided to come and get my steps in and hopefully catch the sunrise and the sun is literally coming up now so i'm gonna go and record it for you guys also my face always looks the worst um first thing in the morning i feel like the diet face is real when I first wake up and then when I eat food and drink water it fills up a little bit but I'm not looking so hot today. guys i'm looking very disheveled this morning but what a gorgeous sunrise this is the nicest walk i love coming here at this time because it's so quiet like literally there's nobody nobody around starbucks doesn't open till seven so i'm just doing some steps and then i'll make my way to starbucks and get a coffee um and i'm gonna fill you guys in on where i've been what i've been doing i'm six weeks out tomorrow so there's a lot to catch up on. I think the last vlog um, was at the end of July, start of August, and we're coming into September. So I've been very naughty and not posting vlogs, but lots to fill you in on. I'm gonna get the steps done, get a coffee, and I'll fill you in. Okay guys, I am back from my walk. I had the nicest morning. I was up at five. I prepped some meals for the day. Um, obviously had my gorgeous walk. I am now on about 13,000 steps, it's 10 a.m. I've cleaned the whole kitchen. I brought a coffee back for Christy. I've been to Aldi and picked up carbs I need for today because it is a high day and I will record a full day of eating in this vlog. Um, and yeah, I've literally scrub the whole kitchen and I've put a little laundry on and it's 10 a.m. I just love when you have a productive morning. Um, so let me catch you up. I'm six weeks out tomorrow. I'll put this week's check-in pictures here and my weigh-ins. Um, I don't know what I weighed the last time I shared my weigh-ins on here, but I've definitely lost a lot of weight since then. I actually had a big drop this morning. Um, you can definitely see it in me. Um, but yeah, um, nothing has changed in terms of cardio or steps. That's been the same, but my food has got dropped since I last talked about my food on this vlog. So I will do like a normal full day of eating so you can see what I'm eating now. Um, but I will warn you, it's not a lot. So if you want to feel sorry for me, don't. Um, I want to get shredded. So I low-key love it when my food gets dropped. I'm like, yes, I'm going to get so lean. Um, but yeah, the only reason I haven't been vlogging is I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm doing Instagram, I'm doing, trying to do TikTok. Um, I've got my coaching, I've got my eight week program girls, I've got my one-to-one -one clients. So I feel like I'm constantly on the go um, and YouTube just fell onto the back burner of me, for me in terms of priority. I think as well, because sometimes I get in my own head a little bit about YouTube. So I'm like, am I just talking to myself here? Because, um, you know, I've been vlogging for a while and I know that inconsistency is probably part to do with it but sometimes like I post a vlog and it doesn't get that many views and then I'm like what's the point but I know that's not a reason to not do it like I would love to grow my channel because I really do enjoy vlogging um, and I'm in the last six weeks of my prep well it's not the last six weeks I've got like 12 weeks until I completely finish do I I don't know something like that um so I don't want to miss out on vlogging and I loved vlogging my prep in 2022 and I still sometimes watch those vlogs back um it's like you just capture all the memories and it's amazing um but you know over the next six weeks things will be changing I guess in my physique and everything um so where I'm at I'm happy with um my level of condition for where I'm at but I definitely do want to be leaner obviously um the check-in pictures that I put here um very flat i'm not on a lot of carbs at all 
um, which you'll see when I do my full day of eating. Um, so I'm going flat very quickly and very flat. Um, you can see it mostly in my delts. Um, and yeah, so this week I had a deload. So um, I had four days off training um, and my cardio was pulled down. So I just had three cardio sessions this week and um, just to have a little bit of a break. My food stayed the same. So I'm still on my low food. Um, and that was how I looked at the end of the week. So on check-in day yesterday, um, obviously really flat from a combination of low food, high steps, cardio and not training. Um, so Josh put a high day in yesterday, but I was already out for the day when he sent me my feedback. So he told me to have it today. Um, so today's a high day. It's also leg day. I haven't trained legs since last week because I was on a deload. So I'm looking forward to it. Christy's on peak week. Um, so he's had his plans through from Josh today. Um, so his show is next weekend. So that's really exciting. Um, he's looking very good, very lean. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to be... Um, supportive girlfriend and sit in the crowd because i've never seen christy on stage so i'm buzzing for that um i feel like him being on prep is helping me to distract from the fact that i'm on prep because he's obviously competing next weekend so he's like been in the very like last diggy really hard parts earlier than what i am because i'm still six weeks out like don't get me wrong it's hard but i don't feel like i'm struggling yet or anything like that and um, don't get me wrong there are some days that are quite hard but i'm not there yet so because he has been, I've just been doing my best to like, you know, do everything around the house and, you know, help him if he needs help with his meals and stuff. So I think that's helping me to distract from um, how fucked I am. Um, but he's been given carbs today. So he starts peaking from today. So he's happy. Um, I'll show you a full day of eating. I'm going to have my first meal shortly. I've literally just had a pit stop delivery through. So I'll show you what I got in my pit stop delivery. It was literally just a little top up. Um, I'll do my proper full order um, in the week. That's it, guys. That's where I'm at. I'm feeling good. I have no expectations for this year in terms of, like, placings or outcomes. But I don't think you ever really can. Um, but I've seen quite a few girls who I've looked at and been like, how do you look like that? Don't stand next to me. Um, there are some really, really good girls every single year in PCA and I've seen quite a few I don't know who's doing my show or anything but obviously if I do the finals all of these girls will be there um, and I don't know how I'll fare up in comparison to some of these girls um but as long as I'm happy with my physique um I'm happy with my look like I really really just want to enjoy it I don't want to worry about winning or placing or anything like that because it's literally pointless to put all your expectations on that because you can never guarantee you can look the best you've ever looked and work the hardest you've ever hard, uh, hardest you've ever hard <laughs> hardest you've ever worked and you could still not win like there will always be someone out there i think who is just a little bit better than you um and that's really motivating so you've got to view it that way like if you lose to someone who's amazing you have to use that as, as motivation um don't let it get you down so i just want to have fun this season and whatever happens happens obviously i would love to win shows but and that's what you work hard for you work with the aim of trying to win you have to try to win but um i don't i'm not doing this for the sole purpose of like winning and if i don't win then it's been a waste like that's just silly um anyway gonna unbox my pit stop order show you guys what's in it get dressed and ready eat my meal one and I'll show you. Okay guys, this is what I got in the top up shop from Pit Stop. So restocked on the dream sleep. People do like mostly clients will ask me supplement recommendations for sleep. And this is the one I always tell them to get. Um, restock on that. I've got a new flavor of cream of rice to try. Always get the JP cream of rice. It's the best one in my opinion. Custard cream, I'm buzzing for that. Also, I have started using Naughty Boy Whey. And I've got white chocolate cookies and cream for the Ninja Creamy. And I'm really, really excited about that. I got the white chocolate caramel biscuit last month and it was really good. All of the flavor drops, um, two chocolate and then the rest are toffee caramel and vanilla. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 10 of them, that's excessive. Um, and then I just got three liters of egg whites and that's it.
Sorry guys, I'm the worst vlogger in the world. I forgot to show my first meal. Um, <laughs> which was my pre-workout meal, but it was um, 80 grams of cream of rice, 20 grams of nut butter, and I tried that new protein that I got um, from Pit Stop. I put it in a shake and I can, um, I can tell you that it is very, very good. I'm gonna rate it an eight out of 10. Um, I feel like it would be better if I had more whey because I only, got, I only had 30 grams in that meal, so it was pretty watered down. So I think I lost a bit of the flavor, but, it is very good, very, very good. So I'm gonna show you my next meal. I've got um, 125 grams of turkey breast mince. Um, I've got some green beans here, which I've just thrown in the pan with a bit of onion salt and butter spray. And we're gonna have some rice cakes. Okay, I'm back from a walk. Um, me and Christy went and got a coffee. I've actually done so many steps today. I'm on 21,000 already, which is wild. Um, my step goal is 15,000, but it is what it is. Um, I'm making my next meal. So this is meal three, and I just wanted to show you guys these fats. Now, if you have an Aldi, go to Aldi and get these if you're looking for like a low calorie burger bun or, you know, to make some kind of a little sandwich. Um, so these are the lowest calorie burger buns that I've ever seen. Um, 125 calories, one gram of fat, and 22 grams of carbs. Um, I have 45 grams of carbs in this meal, so it's either a bagel or two of these. And because I'm a volume queen, I prefer to have two of these. So this meal is two whole eggs, 150 egg whites, and then either a bagel or two of these baps. So yeah, um, I just thought I'd show you guys these because they're really, really good low calorie find. Um, in off season, whenever I make burgers or whatever, I always use these buns. Um, and I use them for like sandwiches and stuff like that because they're the lowest calorie I've been able to find. So this is them and they're so soft and tasty. And this is my next meal. All right, so we've got my egg whites, my two baps, and I've got one egg in each. Don't at me for the overdone egg, this is how I like it. Okay, it's time for my um, second last meal of the day. So what is this meal for? It is, um, Turkey mince with veggies and nine rice cakes. So this is my turkey mince and veggies. Doing like a little stir fry. Then my rice cakes are these ones, which you've probably seen in my vlog before. Um, I have nine of these. Um, and then I have one meal left. Um, um, and I'm really ready to eat this. Okay guys, I... I'm just adding in this outro. Um, I forgot to film my last meal. I know I was trying to do a full day of eating on a high day and I didn't show you two out of the five meals. Um, but my last meal was a Ninja Creamy with two crumpets and that was it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish this vlog here. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe. Um, six weeks out in this vlog. The next one will be, the next vlog will be um, Christy Show Day which is very exciting. And we are getting to the nitty gritty part of prep now. Um, so make sure you subscribe, like the video, drop a comment, let me know um, if there's anything specific you wanna see and stay tuned because we're getting, like I say, to the very exciting part, all the exciting stuff's gonna happen. So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.